You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. This Saturday marked the first official change to national civic life in several years. Juneteenth, an African-American holiday originally celebrated by freed slaves, will now be observed by Americans of all races and creeds. In line with a meteoric rise in popularity, West Bloomfield hosted its first ever Juneteenth event at West Bloomfield High School, sponsored by the West Bloomfield Lakes Area Democratic Club. Member and event organizer Margaret Hall played a major role in bringing it to life. We were having a meeting one night. We talked about having Juneteenth as a celebration. And we haven't had a long time to plan this, but the, the event just grew and grew. And I, one night I was on the phone with them and I gave them a history lesson on what it was and how it's not celebrated and it should be. So we've been working very hard. We're going to have many, many vendors to come a plethora of things happening. We're going to have children's games, a storyteller. We're going to have a live DJ. We're going to have the Roadmasters Vet Club. We're also going to have a proclamation proclaiming that Juneteenth will happen June 19th every year in West Bloomfield. On June 17th, President Joe Biden signed the Juneteenth National Independence Day Act, creating America's 12th federal holiday. But how did Juneteenth become prominent enough for Capitol Hill? The story of Juneteenth begins with the wartime signing of the Emancipation Proclamation, a policy which could only be enforced in the event of a Confederate surrender. On June 19, 1865, Union Major General Gordon Granger marched his troops through the streets of Galveston, Texas, announcing the Civil War's end and the emancipation of slaves. Joyous celebrations followed, giving birth to an annual holiday, which has slowly spread from Texas to being observed nationwide. More recently, Juneteenth experienced an unprecedented surge of awareness in the wake of 2020's protests, culminating in Thursday's bill signing. This is a celebration that we've been waiting for for a very long time, and we're hoping that other people will celebrate it with us we well deserve this holiday. We've had the shortest one in February with 28 days for years. It's time that we get something else because the way I feel about it, we're black every day of our lives. We're not just black in February. And Juneteenth takes it to a whole nother level. Despite a sudden downpour, the Juneteenth celebration was a success for the community. With the added support of a drive-in COVID-19 vaccination clinic at the fire station next door. Going forward, Hall feels that, as always, there is work to be done. And even today, where you see where we are, we still don't feel like we're free. There's still a lot of things that are happening. So we're hoping that this is the beginning of finally the equality that we deserve as a people and that we deserve as human beings. For The Splash, I'm Daniel Zivian. Thanks for watching this segment of The Splash. To watch the entire show or other segments, catch us on Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us every week on 89.3 WBLD, the all-new Lakes FM.